A man who loves you will never do this type of stuff. A man who loves you will never demote you. A man who loves you and he know and who knows you love him will never post a picture with Tatiana at the BDSM about to get spanked by Tyrone, the personal trainer. Like, come on, man. So you're right. Thank God you didn't tell me how to win him over. I would have closed the channel instantly and blamed you. Like a boss. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pillow Talk Hour with Follow Alex. And before we begin the video, we're having a Black Friday special using the coupon code BLACK, right? You can purchase all of my courses except emo um, Charisma Blueprint because it's, it's the new course. You can purchase the Psychological Game of Attraction, Natural Chemistry, Emotional Mastery. Um, you can purchase them all by using the coupon code FRIDAY, okay? Click on the description down below. You can also get Nice Girl as well. Um, and you could use and by purchasing that you help Father Alex pay for his tuition, which allows me to make these types of videos, okay? Because I, I I'm going to art school. I'm taking a break right now, but I'm gonna get back into it. All right, so let's begin with the video. So remember, coupon code Black. I've been dating this guy since early 2022. In the beginning, he he let me know he was serious, and was looking for a relationship. Good, good for him. Also, he told me that he divorced over one year, his marriage of only six months. That's a red flag if I've seen a red flag. There's something about six-month marriages, bro. Like, it's one thing to have a six-month relationship. Six-month marriage? That's intense. As we dated, I noticed that he still had unresolved issues with his ex-wife. They weren't speaking. But he spoke of, of her often negatively. It was a red flag that I noticed and possibly should have walked away. Yes, it is a red flag. Um, talking bad about anyone consistently is a red flag, especially about your ex. But that's how you learn, right? Um, but you know what, though? It, again, like I said, it's kind of difficult to put things in isolation. So I get why you stayed. Um, one red flag is not a red flag in isolation. Red flags are well, you know, if he has a, if he, you know, fucking kills people, then that's that's a red flag. You know what I'm saying? If he has bodies in his basement, and you're like, oh, we, you know, he only has a few bodies, but he's a great guy. I'm like, bitch, Melissa, run, Melissa. Okay, run. How about that? Not leave. Run. <laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Melissa? Um, okay, a few months in, his job need, <laughs> his job needed. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, man, sometimes, man, a few months in, his job needed him in another state. Initially, we planned to move together. Okay. Okay, that's fair. It's been a, over a year you've been with him. But then we decided it might be too soon and parted ways. All right. Still speaking with another one. Still speaking with one another. Within the, within the same breath, he, he was also confused if he really wanted a relationship. How are you confused? Listen to me, people. You know what distance does? Distance reveals to you reality. That's one of the things about distance and space allows you to see who you are and who that person is. And for you to see the emotions that people feel in a very transparent way. Because somebody has to make up the distance. You know, there's distance always reveals the truth, people. That's just how it is. You could be friends with someone at a school, but once you guys separate, it shows you whether or not that friendship was real. Distance reveals things, right? Like, after, you guys could be friends at school, but after school is done, that's how you find out whether or not what you guys did was a real thing or whether or not it was just a passing thing. Um, This isn't what I wanted. Okay, so I imagine you left. I tried to end it. Tried. Oh, you're a hostage? And then he backtracked because he didn't want to go to lose me and something and something this quote unquote special. Okay, you see how special that is this that you're special but not special enough to want to be in a relationship. What kind of speciality is this? Bitch, if I'm special, don't you want me? Sometimes people will give you everything but what you want. When they're begging you. The, the only thing they're going to give you is the begging 
and the external signs that they like you. But when it really comes down to it, at the nitty gritty, what you really want, they don't give it to you. They're hesitant. Currently, we both live in a different state, but still communicate regularly. I plan to visit him next month, but I just saw on the post on his, on his Instagram with another female. He went to a BDSM cabernet, but the picture looks, quote unquote, like they're just friends. I have no idea who she is. And to be honest, the venue of the cabernet is very sexual. Is it? Father Alex, stay focused. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Um, it is definitely not a friend. I have heard him mention and talk about. I pulled back on communicating with him as I as I am confused and hurt. He keeps messaging me, but I am giving him one word answers and waiting days to respond. Yeah, you're using silence on him. Exactly. You're using silence. Beautiful, beautiful. Much different than my regular messaging pattern. Exactly. I'm honestly disgusted and feel betrayed. Good. You should. You should. He hasn't said anything about the picture and, th and it doesn't seem to he really cares what I think since he did upload it and tag the venue and tag the woman. Holy fuck. Just what's next? Tagging his dick. Like seriously, like just tag his dick while you're at it. Like it's crazy. I feel like he wants his cake and wants to eat it too. I don't think any sane woman who is interested in a man in a relationship with him would want to see her guy with a woman in a big DSM cabinet. Well, calm down now, my love, okay? Don't make conclusions. There's a lot of angels out there. <laughs> who wouldn't? Well, Father Alec, you have a fucking dark side, okay? God damn it. We know exactly what you're into. We saw your dog collar yesterday. We saw the fucking dog leash. We know exactly the type of shit you're into. Calm down, Melissa. Jesus Christ, Christian. I didn't know Melissa was a Christian. You know, I bet there's some kinky Christians out there. Oh, my God. Can you imagine some kinky Christians? Baby, crucify me. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what? Yes, baby, I sinned. And I bet some ladies have, like, the fantasy of being with Lucifer. Hell, yeah. Don't you think there's some, like, people who want to be with Lucifer? You know, because Lucifer was kind of ucking. You know, I'm going to lose my Christian subscribers. My bad. I'm sorry, people. Um... Baby, I have Lucifer as my personal trainer. He is nothing to be worried about. Um, I don't think any saying, okay, my love, let me tell you something. Some women don't mind that and they're not crazy. Some people just have a different attachment style. You know what I'm saying? But in this case, it's very disrespectful simply because he stated to you he loves you, he likes you, and he wants to be in a relationship. And then he backtracked. There's nothing worse than when someone demotes you. The Demotion is... And that's what he sound, sounds like he did. Should I let him go? I do not want to confront it about it. I feel like it would be common sense to not do this to someone you like. Thanks. I think you have high self-esteem by saying that, honestly. I really do think so. I think that you, um, I think you have good self-esteem that you understood that. And I think your instincts are right. I think your instincts are right. I think you have to leave. Because what he is doing is disrespectful. No woman who really loves a woman would do this. Unless you guys agreed upon it. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Unless you guys agreed upon it, no man who actually loves you would do t this type of stuff. And so blatant. So in your face. Like, it's, like honestly, I would block his stupid ass. I would just block him forever and leave him. In t eternal silence. A man who loves you will never do this type of stuff. A man who loves you will never demote you. A man who loves you and he know and who knows you love him will never post a picture with Tatiana at the BDSM about to get spanked by Tyrone, the personal trainer. Like, come on, man. So you're right. Thank God you didn't tell me how to win him over. I would have closed the channel instantly and blamed you. And these threats, man, I, I be gaslighting you guys with these threats. And, and you know what's crazy? You you keep he you, you keep give, you keep giving him coldness, and he keeps messaging you. He doesn't even give a fuck that you're being cold with him. He's like a robot. 
like a dick that that's robotic and and it's just programmed to just text any man who loves you would notice you acting cold and be panicking why are you doing this and and and, and naturally the way humans are if guilt has a way of showing up for example let's just say you kill someone right let's just say you kill tyra on the personal trainer right god forbid and i come up to you and say hey what the fuck i know exactly what you did i know exactly what you did your conscious would immediately think about killing tyrone the personal trainer because you know that's what you, that's what you did wrong maybe i'm really talking about hey i know what you did i know that you got i, I know that you um that you got a promotion at that job and you're not telling me right but because you, your conscience is weighing on you you're naturally gonna blame yourself so when a guy likes you and he knows you he posted that picture with tatiana and you're acting cold he's naturally gonna say oh wow like i think she's mad because of that and he would bring it up and address it and he's not doing it jesus christ this guy's a motherfucking asshole honestly man like this type of stuff i just don't understand people honestly like how could you, this is just crazy why would you do that hurt someone that you like that you love and then on top of that when you try to leave they don't let try yeah, fuck that shit, man. This is not slavery. Move away, man. Like, find somebody else, okay? Find somebody else. This guy's not it. This guy does not love you. And I'm glad you asked me. And I'm glad you, you're you not doing... You're doing exactly what I teach. And it's beautiful. Um, It's just that for some people, it's not working. But what's really this is showing you is that he really doesn't care. And he has no heart. He has no love for anyone. It doesn't seem like it. Like, how could you love someone for this long and do this to them? So I'm sorry you went through that. Um, I'm glad you asked me about it. And I'm glad you're doing the right thing. And I'm happy. Father Alex is happy today. No insanity. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this question. All right, man. Um, I wish you the best. Happy Thanksgiving. Don't forget 50% off all of my courses. Except, you know, Charisma Blueprint. Because it's the newest one, people. Okay? Father Alex has his pays bills, people. All right? Anyways. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Today, I might, I might upload another Robert Greene book club video. So don't forget, click on the description down below. You know, by joining the book club, you guys can watch all of the Robert Greene videos that I have and a bunch of other videos that I post on exclusively on Patreon. Um, honestly, I'm going to start posting more reaction videos to other YouTubers on Patreon. Um, and I don't know, if you, if you guys want me to make reaction videos on movies where I literally react to the movie, may, I may not react to the whole movie, I may react to the whole movie also as well. I don't know. Like, you guys gave me ideas because on YouTube, there's some things I can't post. On this, on Patreon, I can post everything, people. Everything. Yeah, that's right. Everything. What the fuck is Father Alex implying? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs>